time now is 7.20, and in this morning's medical alert, making cataract surgery safer and easier on the eye than ever before. Dr. Carl May is an ophthalmologist with May Eye Care Center. Good morning. Good morning. Well, these are pretty life-changing changes. Yes, this is an exciting time for people that are having eye surgery and uh, exciting time for eye surgeons. There's a lot of new technology that are really changing how people see after cataract surgery and um, how well they see after cataract surgery. Let's just start from the beginning. What is a cataract? Cataract is the lens in your eye, which is behind your iris, behind your pupil, getting cloudy as we age. So and it's kind of like getting wrinkles. It just gets cloudy as time goes by. And oftentimes you can see it if you're, you know, with perhaps an older person, you can see it when can they sort of... It get white enough, it yes. It gets white. All right, so let's kind of walk through, before we get into the technology, Technology. Let's kind of walk through what are the signs and the symptoms so people know. Initially, people start noticing that things just aren't as clear as they used to be. Newspapers harder to read. It gets harder to see the letters on, or text on television. Um, and then they start to have trouble with night glare. Eventually, it starts affecting your life enough that you want something done about it. Night glare is difficult. So um, most of these affect people in what age group? Uh, starting at around 50 all the way up to 90s. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. so it, it starts younger these days, or it's just, it's diagnosed younger? It's diagnosed and treated younger because the surgery's gotten so good that you can see better uh, even in your 50s with cataract surgery now. All right, so let's talk about some of those surgeries and some of those techniques that are available now. Uh, you're talking about dropless cataract surgery, so that means surgery where you don't have to use those drops afterwards, correct? Correct. One of the biggest problems with eye surgery is compliance with eye drops. People have to take three drops four times a day for about four to five weeks after cataract surgery. And some people can't get one drop in their eye, let alone three different drops four times a day. So they're just not good at it? Yeah, they're not good at it, or they can't get something that close to their eye, oh. or they just stop them early, like when you take an antibiotic for a cold, sure. or uh, they stop them before the time is up, and that puts them at risk for complications. Oh, so I, it's so it, with that compliance, it's best to have something that is dropless. That's correct. All right. It's laser assisted cataract surgery. Tell me about that. With with a laser we can now do all the parts of the surgery and make them much more accurate, safer and put less energy into the eye. Okay. So things we did by hand like uh, make incisions with a metal blade, make a hole to get the cataract out, all those things are now programmed into a laser and it's much safer and more accurate for the patient. So is the healing uh, faster as well? Healing is faster, you get to see faster and just having the surgery is now safer with that technique. And then the last is premium intraocular yeah, this is one of the most exciting things to happen in my career that you can now get a bifocal in your eye after cataract surgery and we can use different power lenses for that. So depending on what your career or what kind of tasks you're doing, we can have a different power bifocal for different patients. That's am it's amazing what is happening in your field right now. It really is. It's life changing for me and for the patients. It's really great. I'm sure it is. Well, thank you for coming in early this morning to share this with us. We